Hi, YouTube. This was a video request from my YouTube friend, Brandon. Brandon wanted to see a comparison of some non-metallic knives. And I have a few, so <laughs> here we go. First knife I'm going to show you, CIA letter opener, made of Zytel, uh, which is a type of um, fiberglass reinforced plastic. Very cool boot knife design. I bought this one at a gun show many years ago for $5. Comfortable handled, very lightweight. Not really much flex to it. Then I bought its twin online um, last year, I believe. This one is a little different. It, it's more bendy. It's shinier. Um, the handle is actually more grippy, and this one says Executive Letter Opener 2 on the handle. This one doesn't say anything. Anyway, it's pretty much the exact same thing. Also five bucks online. Um, I just googled CIA Letter Opener and ordered one from the cheapest place. Yeah, so these are good for stabbing and opening your mail. <laughs> All right. Not really good for cutting paper, but whatever. Next up, Cold Steel FGX Cat Tonto from the Nightshade series. The, the handle and it is full tang. It goes all the way, all the way through. The handle is grivery, which Cold Steel says is tougher than Zytel. Um, the handle is called Creighton. Very rubbery, very grippy. I really like it. Um, if you go to Cold Steel's YouTube channel, you can see them hammering this into, I think, a 2 by 4 <laughs> They test, they will show you on the video, they test the Nightshade series knives by stabbing them through stacks of cardboard and uh, very thin plywood. So, yeah, that is a tough blade. Surprisingly tough. Six inch blade on this one. I like it. Uh, the next two I have are actually for sale on my website, dmknifeshop.com. These are boot knives. It's a small um, FGX Boot Blade 2, uh, three and a quarter inch blade. Also, grivery, tough plastic with the Creighton grippy handle. Um, yeah, they come with this ring, I guess, so it's, um, so you can't sneak it through a metal detector, whatever. You can take that off if you want. I'm leaving it on because this is for sale. Um, it's not used, I just took it out of the package to make this video. Alright, and the big one, way bigger. <laughs> Five inch blade. Little, little, bit, little bit of flex on these. Um, I don't think you can pound it through a two by four, but you can, you can definitely do some damage on something not so tough. So yeah, the blade is the blade is actually very thin, but they put this rib down the middle on both of them to give it a little more strength. Alright, very cool cold steel boot knives. Um, yeah, non metallic. Okay, uh, last one I want to show you is 
a ceramic knife. Alright, I just got this yesterday. I don't really know anything about them. Um, honestly, I'm afraid of dropping it. Because, <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know how tough this blade really is. It's surprisingly sharp. Um, yeah, what the heck? <laughs> Ceramic knife, rubber handle. Yeah. It's my first and only ceramic knife. Um, I guess it's okay. <laughs> Alright. So, those are non-metallic knives. These really are only good for stabbing. Alright. Um, if your life is on the line, yeah, I would take any of these over nothing, <laughs> all right? <laughs> um, for serious use, the Cat Tonto, yeah, that would be my first choice. These are cool because they're so lightweight, you can put it on a string around your neck or drop it in your boot or whatever. Very good for concealing, right? Uh, same with this one. Um, this one is kind of big, but uh, keep it handy, you know? This thing, <laughs> I don't know. It didn't come with the sheath. None of these come with a sheath. But it's, it's interesting. The knife of the future, maybe. Who knows? Alright. That's it. Thanks for watching. Brandon, thanks for your request. Have a great day. Peace.